You're listening to the Inspired Guide Podcast, Episode 31. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Inspired Guide Podcast, the podcast that encourages you to stop dreaming and start doing. And I'm back after quite a hiatus. And I thought, what better a time to come back than in the month of November, which is National Podcast Post Month. So what does that mean? Well, in 2007, 50 podcasters participated in the first ever National Podcast Post Month, a.k.a., and now this is an uh, interesting sounding abbreviation, Napod Pomo. And this is created by Jennifer Navaretti as an answer for an audio version of a 30 day challenge happening in the month of November. So we've all seen monthly challenges, a 30 day photo challenge, a 30 day fitness challenge, a 30 day blog writing challenge. Well, the national podcast post month challenge is to podcast, create a podcast episode every day for 30 days from November 1st to November 30th. And well, I'm totally up for the challenge. And I said to myself, well, self, what kind of content can you create for 30 days in a row? And I figured, you know what? I'm going to ask a handful of clients, business associates, and friends to send me questions related to business, podcasting, or questions they've been wanting to ask but never have. And of course, there ended up being several different themes among the questions that they did submit. And so here is what you can expect over the next 30 days from me and this podcast series. Most of my people are actually interested in hearing my thoughts and advice on podcasting. Who knew? Some of the topics or questions I should say that they've asked, what's the best time to evolve your podcast from a solo one to an interview-based one? Or, what is your favorite podcasting task? Others were really interested in getting a peek into how my business brain works. When one client simply asked, Hey Darlene, how do you stay organized and productive? Basically, how the heck does your brain work? Tell me everything. Another one wanted to know, what's the one task that clients ask of you and it's just a big no from you? But not all the questions were business or podcast related. Several people actually want to hear about our adoption journey. It's not something that I talk about often or have talked about on any podcast episode for that matter is back in 2016, my husband and I adopted our son. This is uh, something where I definitely would love to explore it in the next 30 days. And it's exciting and it feels a bit vulnerable, but I will tackle some of those adoption questions. And lastly, one of my clients just wanted to know all the things. All the things. Like, do you wash your body or your hair first in the shower? Or what movie can you quote easily? Or what makes you really mad? The questions have been a mixed bag, and I'm actually excited to answer them. You know, just like Mama said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. See what I did there? Yeah, I'm winking. <laughs> so there you have it. 30 fun-filled days of content just for you. That's all I actually have for you today because 30 days, there's a lot of uh, recording to do. So I'm going to try to keep these as bite-sized and concise as possible. As always, be inspired by the most important person in your life, you. And until tomorrow, this is Darlene Victoria signing out.